everybody. Hello. Hi, it's Thursday. It is. Thursday today. Uh, yes. Meat Sandwich is here. Boris is also uh, Boris. here. Boris. Yeah, we're getting ready for the yeah. uh, Boris and Robin show, which will be starting momentarily. Indeed it will. On uh, WPDH, but uh, is the pre-show show. We're going to kind of run down some of the stuff we're talking about this morning on the show. And our big question is, uh, you know, with the big announcement yesterday, American Chopper is coming back to, Pretty the, crazy. to the Discovery Channel. What? The uh, the Tuttles are reunited. we got Paul Sr. and Paul Jr. back together. Yeah. Who knows for how long? <laughs> <laughs> but they even said that when they were here last time, right? That they were really well. Sorry. Well, they were kind of uh, testing the waters. They right. both had their first public appearance at a uh, charity outing right. uh, last month, uh, and I guess they didn't beat the crap out of each other. So they said, "Well, let's, yeah. let's go back on TV." <laughs> but it's it going to be well. it's going to be a very different uh, series, though. On uh, from what I what I gather from the press release that they uh, they put out yesterday. Um, the show is really going to be kind of following the um, decline of Orange County Choppers. Really? Uh, so it's really going to be following some of the struggles that uh, Paul Sr.'s had. You know, they kind of changed the whole place over to like a bar and restaurant. Right. Uh, they put a bowling alley in, and they were struggling to find customers. So now this <laughs> is their crawl back to the top. Okay. At least that's how they're pitching it on the show. Um, and uh, Paul Jr., you know, he's had his own, I guess, challenges as well. He kind of... Set out on his own to do all these big build bikes, but you know those are few and far between. So sure. he's raising a family, also trying to make money, and so it's an underdog story. Now they're coming back together to uh, reunite and take over the world. That's cool. So we'll see. We're gonna have uh, those guys uh, on the air soon to uh, to talk more about uh, what to expect on the new show. But our question this morning is. Uh, what other shows do you wish they would bring back? It seems like this is the thing now. You just yeah, tons of shows are coming back. Now. Take an old show. And then you just bring everybody back and right. just, just start over. You got Will and Grace. Will and Grace uh, is back. That's back. Which, by the way, have you seen the new Will and Grace? I, don't, I never saw the old Will and Grace, so I didn't watch the new one. It's the same freaking show. Like, they all yeah. look exactly the same. Yeah. Like, it's like the show never went off the air. It's so weird. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, you got that uh, Fuller House. That's, uh, that is a thing now, yeah. Seems to be a thing on Netflix. Bobby Bower's a fan. Yeah. Uh, they brought Twin Peaks back. Yes, they did. <laughs> which I'm still uh, freaked out about. <laughs> Uh, so, what other shows do you wish that they would uh, bring back from from back in the day? Wait, you have any? Uh... There's a few shows, yeah. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I'd like to see more of. More Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah, why not? Sure, why not? I think that would be a cool show to bring back. There's plenty of vampires out there to still slay. Yeah. Um, I'd be I, into that. Uh, personally, I would love to see if they brought back Family Ties. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. Just so uh, Skippy would get some work. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Skippy from Family Ties is actually going to be on our show tomorrow. He's going to be coming in. He's doing, uh, I guess, some comedy down in Chester. Right. Uh, and he's going to be in. So that that will be exciting. So. Yeah. But all right, we're going to open up the phones and see what you guys think this morning about uh, these TV shows you wish you would come back. Um, Dawn uh, is saying Married with Children. She's agreeing with uh, Liz. I wish they would bring back Married with Children. Okay. Isn't that basically just called Modern Family now? Yeah, the guy from Married with Children called <laughs> Modern Family. Yeah. He's like, kind of cleaned up his act. He divorced that uh, crazy old uh, redhead. <laughs> And now he's living with a crazy um, Hispanic woman. Yes. Uh, let's see, MASH. Bring back MASH. MASH was a great show. Yeah, I feel like most of the actors are way too old uh, or probably yeah. not alive anymore. It's hard to <laughs> do a sequel, Mash. too, because at the end, the war was over. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, true. They did try After MASH, if you remember. Yes, it was the show, was which was Mash. terrible. I think what, Father, it was just Father Mulcahy. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was Something and like Klinger, maybe I don't know. Was there also like Trapper John MD? Like, wasn't there like a drama about? Yeah, well, that's that that, yeah, that's after he left. They did Trapper John MD, and uh, the show was great. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of spinoffs on Mesh, so it was around for a while. It was, but yeah, it would be cool to bring a, maybe a, a version of it back. Uh, let's see, uh, NYPD Blue, bring back NYPD Blue. That's what Cheryl's saying. Hmm. All right, well, keep keep your ideas coming. We'll pass them along to uh, nobody. Nobody listens to us. It's fun, it's fun to talk about. A bunch of TV execs who aren't listening. Yes, all of them that are tuned in this morning. Uh, also, Attorney Jenna Spillmore, she's going to be on with us this morning. We got a letter from a parent who's very nervous because her 18-year-old son is dating a 16-year-old girl. Uh, and there's a uh, you know the whole like age difference, yeah. and if they're getting romantic, like could he get in trouble? And uh, so, so uh, Jonna will cover all of that. Uh, this morning for this uh, concerned mom. Uh, also on the show this morning, uh, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, Meat Sandwich's big uh, live appearance tomorrow. That's right? me. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, we're uh, we're kicking Meat out of the studio. Uh, he's yeah. going to be down at Flory's in Fishkill uh, tomorrow morning, starting at like around eight o'clock. Yes. Uh, they've got a new mobile app. If you stop by and download the app, uh, he's going to give you five dollars off of your gas. 
Not bad. Plus, Very I think good. you got some tickets and stuff to give away too. Yeah, I believe so. So that'll be that'll be fun tomorrow. Um, fun for you. Nightmare for us because we're gonna have to do all your work <laughs> while you while you're gone. <laughs> Uh, plus, also uh, on the show this morning, we've got uh, more tickets to the Food Truck Festival. We'll play oh, with yeah. Boris Rather. We'll do that. We've got our last letter game. We've got the Listener of the Day. Um, you know, So all many that, things. All that stuff. All the good all stuff. All that jazz. Plus, I don't know if you started, a brand new brewery is opening up in Wappinger's Falls. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll have uh, that story uh, when we kick off the show this morning at 6, so be sure to tune in for that. Thanks for watching the pre-show show. Yeah. All right. We'll see, see you on the air in a little bit. <laughs>